Hello and welcome back to Mystery Shots. A train is passing through a deserted area. A rough-looking man named Virgil is sitting inside the train, eating some of his bread. A strange woman is staring at him as she tries to calm her baby. After a while the train stops, and Virgil exits and hands his bread to the woman inside. He then walks to a nearby shop and inquires the owner if he has seen anyone around. However, the owner keeps on watching the TV without giving any response. Later, when Virgil inquires about the restroom, the owner directs him in a different language. After walking for some time, he arrives at the bathroom, which is filthy and infested with flies. Regardless, Virgil feels compelled to use it to ease stomach pain. While in bathroom, a manly voice inquires if he is waiting for someone to accompany him to the compound. After hearing this, Virgil says yes, and the man walks away. Later, as Virgil is washing his face, a man approaches and warns him not to waste any water. Virgil joins Ket, the truck driver, to travel to the compound. On the way, Keith explains to Virgil about his fee for taking him to the compound. Virgil is surprised to see an increase in the fee because he expected it to be only $200. Feeling the heat, Virgil tries to turn on the air conditioner in the truck, but Keith scolds him, telling him that it will put pressure on the engine and damage it. After traveling for some distance, the truck's tire blows out, forcing them to pull over and change the tire. While they're at it, they come across two wild dogs fighting. Seeing this, Keith chases the healthy dog and kills the injured one in a painless manner. They quickly repaired the tire and resumed their journey. Later, they stopped to refuel but because it is already late, they decide to rest for the day and continue their journey the next day. While spending their time together at night, Keith asks Virgil about his motive for going to the compound. Virgil's reply that he is looking for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and is confident that he will find it there. Keith visits the compound on a regular basis and tries to persuade Virgil that the compound is not a better place for opportunities. He also mentions that the only thing he can find there is hard labor, to which Virgil replies that he is not afraid. The following morning, Virgil is seen driving the truck while Keith sits in the passenger seat. After a while of driving, Virgil begins to feel hot from the scorching sun outside and decides to turn on the AC to its maximum capacity. This causes the truck's engine to shut down. When Keith learns of it, he yells at Virgil and orders him to pull over. After stopping, Virgil apologizes and goes to ease himself on his way back to the truck. He notices some rock clusters and is amused. He gets close and removes dirt from one of the rocks. The rock appears to be made of gold, and Virgil is surprised to discover it. He calls Keith and requests that he examine the rocks. Keith arrives and pulls out his lighter, telling that if it burns and turns black, it's not gold. However, when he fires on a portion of the stone, the color does not change, and Keith concludes that it is gold. Duo starts digging the gold out of the ground with shovels. However, the rock is so massive and firmly planted that, despite their best efforts, they are unable to move it even an inch. They then decide to pull the gold using a rope attached to the truck. However, the rock refuses to budge, and the rope breaks. Keith leaves later in the evening to look for some firewood for the night. He informs Virgil that wild dogs are prevalent in the area and can only be driven away with fire. Listening to this, Virgil joins him, and the two of them return with a pile of firewood. They light the fire and gather around to talk about the fortune. Keith becomes happy as he thinks about how their lives will soon change. He screams and jumps in delight. After a while, Keith mentions that since they can't get the gold out, one of them will have to go to town and get an excavator to dig it out. He also mentions having some contacts, who can lend them an excavator and suggest that Virgil should go to town. This is because Virgil is unfamiliar with the deserted environment and has no idea how to adapt to it for an extended period of time, however, Virgil thinks otherwise. He suggests that Keith go get an excavator while he waits and guards the gold. He also claims that he has no idea what to do in the new town and that he does not have enough contacts. After hearing this, Keith asks him one last time if it is his final decision, to which Virgil responds that he is a tough guy who can handle this situation easily. The following morning, Keith is shown leaving the location after providing canned foods, some water, and a small tent cloth to Virgil. 
He also gives Virgil a satellite phone for communication as well as a pocket knife for protection. Keith then says it will take him about five days to return with an excavator. He then leaves, telling Virgil to keep his head up and take care of himself later. Virgil picks up the tent cloth and ties it around a nearby tree, creating a shelter-like environment for him. He also checks the satellite phone to see if it's working before going to scavenge firewood around the area. When he returns after collecting some firewood for the night, he discovers a scorpion roaming around his hiding place. He chases the scorpion away from his home with a piece of wood. As night falls, Virgil sits beside the fire, eating his canned food. He enjoys his meal but becomes concerned when he hears the wild dogs fighting nearby. He wakes up pale and tired the next morning. He rushes to empty his stomach but hesitates to waste any water on cleaning himself up. Meanwhile, a satellite phone rings, but before Virgil could drag himself there it ends. Frustrated, Virgil walks around the area and finds the remains of a crashed plane. He decides to use it as a shelter, but because the gold site cannot be seen from there, he abandons the plan. He does, however, take some plane parts and use them as a shelter. Shortly after a tired Virgil dozes off. When he wakes up, he discovers that the sun has burned a portion of his face, he then sits beside the gold and begins talking to himself, while doing so, he has the idea of breaking a chunk of the gold by repeatedly striking it with a rock. He is successful, and a small but heavy chunk of gold is broken. Keith calls him on the satellite phone at the same time, and he quickly picks it up. Keith informs him that it will take longer than expected because his truck's engine is overheating, Virgil quickly informs him that he has successfully broken a small chunk of gold, but Keith suggests that he sit right beside the gold and will do his best to reach it. At night, while Virgil sits right beside the gold, some wild dogs approach him. He uses the firewood to scare away the dogs and save himself. The next morning, Virgil drinks some water from a bottle. Simultaneously, he notices a striped snake approaching him. He tries to kill the snake, but when he turns around, it escapes. He discovers that he accidentally knocked over the bottle, spilling the majority of the water. Later, he returns to the plane crash site and attempts to collect more wreckage for his shelter. Then he notices someone approaching him. He boards the plane and attempts to conceal himself for some time. The stranger approaches the plane and requests that he come out of his hiding place. The stranger turns out to be a woman who offers him food and drinks, but Virgil refuses to accept them. She also questions Virgil about his motivations and how he ended up in the desert, but he remains silent and ignores her questions later. He offers the woman shelter in the plane and begins to fly away. However, the woman later suspects that he is concealing something from her. The woman chases Virgil and questions him about how he got there in the first place. Angered by the questions, Virgil confronts the woman and tells her not to interfere in his affairs and to leave. Simultaneously, the woman notices Virgil's shelter and begins walking towards it. When she attempts to destroy his shelter, Virgil becomes enraged and strikes her with a shovel, killing her on the spot. He then takes everything useful from her backpack and buries her near his shelter. Shortly after the wild dogs begin pulling the dead body, Virgil notices it and chases the dogs away. He then drags the woman's body a short distance and burns her. He's burning some wood, and his eyes are welling up with tears. The following morning, Virgil awakens to the sound of the satellite phone and answers it. Keith, on the other hand, informs him that he has located the excavator but will need more time to get there because the excavator's load is slowing. He encourages Virgil to stay strong, later, Virgil notices a truck passing by, but his greed for more gold prevents him from seeking help. While he's searching for firewood for the night, he notices a sandstorm approaching. He runs towards the shelter and tries to stay safe but the storm quickly rips out parts of his shelter, forcing Virgil to flee for his life. On his way, he is severely injured by a tree branch. The storm eventually stops, and Virgil awakens from a heap of sand with a piece of branch stuck in his stomach. Instead of pulling out the branch, he rushes towards the gold site to inspect it after removing some sand. He finds the big rock of gold and faints beside it in the next scene, while Virgil pulls the branch from his stomach and bleeds heavily. He then builds a fire and uses it to heat a can. He begins to cry as he uses the hot can to disinfect the wound. 
When he wakes up, he paints his face with sand and collapses to the ground. He notices a woman aiming a crossbow at him. Virgil realizes he is having visions of the previous woman he had killed. When Virgil opens his eyes the woman gives him some water to drink and then leaves. He cannot locate the woman and concludes that he is hallucinating. Meanwhile, the satellite phone rings, and he digs it out of the sand. Virgil tells Keith about the woman and Keith suggests he get rid of her soon after the call ends. The woman again appears in front of Virgil and offers him some help. However, a greedy Virgil who's more conscious about the gold yells at her to go away before leaving the woman inquires if he has seen her sister but Virgil does not answer. Later, when Virgil opens his eyes, he is surrounded by burned-out fires and wild dogs. He immediately contacts Keith, asking where he is and Keith responds that he is close by and will arrive soon. Virgil cries over the phone begging him to come fast as the wild dogs are trying to attack him here. It is revealed that Keith is sitting a distance away from Virgil, keeping an eye on him with binoculars. He waits and watches until the dogs attack and drag Virgil away. After a while, the dogs try to eat Virgil, but Virgil still looks gold as he dies. As Virgil dies, Keith arrives there with his truck attached to an excavator. He looks down to Virgil's body and returns to his truck trying to pick something up. As he turns back he's shot in the chest by an arrow. Keith collapses, trying to figure out who shot him but finds no one. Like and comment your thoughts about this mystery shot. And don't forget to subscribe Mystery Shots for more such content.